I don't have a typical day. And that's one of the favorite things about my job. I could wake up in the morning. First thing I do is I check my emails early in the morning, usually about 6.30, to get a sense of what the day is looking like. Um, I have to also check my calendar to see where I'm going and what I have to do. So if I take a day like last week, there was not one day last week that I went directly from my house to the office. I had meetings. Usually I have staff that work in the four different boroughs of New York. So I have staff that work in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, different parts of Brooklyn. I have staff that works out in um, Manhattan and also in Queens. And I'm going to go out. I want to see that staff. I have uh, managers who report to me, and then they have staff that reports to them. So it's important for me to get out, meet with them. So a typical day includes me having a bunch of meetings. Those are, can be hard. Those can also be fun, depending on what the topic is. We're working on a really interesting project right now, looking to introduce a new type of training using video um a video training that we're going to deploy to people wherever they're working so they don't have to come to us. So I was in a big meeting about that. Then I'm answering emails in between meetings, trying to answer some emails quickly. Other times you have to wait till I get back to the office. And then a lot of times, sometimes there's a lot of stuff for me to read. So a lot of, on a typical day, but the reading is fun because you're looking to see answers, looking for solutions to problems. And then meetings with my staff, which are the best. So I and my staff are coming in, they're presenting issues, we're talking through problems. And then the biggest thing I say, well, what do you recommend? Because everybody wants to come to me and for me to have an answer. But I want them to come and let's talk about it. Or I might make an answer and say, but does that make sense? So we're working collaboratively. We're working as a team. We're working to solve problems. Can we do this differently? Can we look at this issue differently? One of the problems we have in transportation is that people want to use the same way that things were done before. And we want to look for new, I want to push for new solutions. So when my team is coming in, I'm saying, what's a new solution? So a typical workday means that I have a bunch of meetings, I have a bunch of emails to get through, but most importantly, I get to talk to a lot of people from people who are cleaning the subways to other executives like me. And I'm dealing with a range of problems from Something as small as to, hey, can we hire a person to um, fill in a position that's vacant to something that is as big as how do we roll out this incredibly important training program that we need to get done. We need to get it done really quickly. Usually there are about three or four people who are trying to drop in to talk to me. My assistant is trying to keep me on schedule um, and remind me of all the things, usually to remind me to eat. He tells me that I do not eat enough. I do not fuel my body. So there's, I'm usually running saying, let me remember to eat. Let me remember to eat. When I'm at my office, I have a beautiful office, um, just big, uh, has a big desk. I have two computer screens, um, punches of paper lined up and folders lined up, um, stacked high for me to read and review and sign. I have a line of um, file folders for me to sign letters. I have a pretty, um, I have plants in my office. I like to have plants in my office. It brings life. It brings joy. I love my plants. I have two beautiful plants, which um, previous staff members gave to me. And then I have a conference table with three chairs. Um, I have a little fridge that's pretty much empty. I have a, I have my own like water dispensary in my office because hydration, drinking water is really important. So I may not eat, but I'll always drink water. I have, um, usually in my side drawer, I have nuts. So at least I could snack on nuts. And then my conference tables where I get to sit and talk with people or people come in um, and then we'll do that. Then I'll jump up and run to the phone to answer phone calls and then jump up and, and run to another floor to speak to another colleague. So my office is nice. It is friendly. It is, uh, I have a, oh, a painting on my, in my office that says, be your own kind of beautiful, because I want people to come in and know who they are is special. They are valued. And then I have a couple of other really pretty pictures, artwork. Um, I have a big key um, to remind me that I am the key to my success. And I'm also the key to other people having a profitable life and a profitable um, career at transit. And then I have a plaque that one of my um, staff members presented to, me, presented to me when he returned from Afghanistan to appreciate the support 
that we provided for him while he was deployed in Afghanistan. I have a painting by my sister who's a great artist, Nabeka Metununo, um, which she gave to me as a birthday gift.